Hello and welcome to another edition of Anti-Doping Updates. This is episode 7. In this episode, we've got three good stories to talk about. First, a power lifter from New Zealand. Second, a middle distance runner from the United States. And third, a judo athlete from Brazil. Let's get started. Our first story is Sean Winters, who is a power lifter from New Zealand. In an in-competition test in, in July of 2020 at the Auckland Powerlifting Championships, he tested positive for Octodrine. Octodrine is a stimulant that increases blood pressure and cardiac output, but it's also used as an adulterant in sport. He tested positive, so Sean Winters tested positive, and um, he claimed that the positive test was the result of a contaminated substance, namely Fire Blast Ultra Supplement made by Explosive Supplement. So he contacted the Explosive Supplement Company, and um, so according to their website, the Fire Blast Ultra Supplement says this. It says, only the truly legendary wizards can handle the extreme levels of power. Those with the strength to control the inferno will incinerate every obstacle in their path to greatness. That's marketed as a fat burner and weight loss supplement and an energy booster. That's what it's marketed as. Um, when uh, Mr. Winters contacted Explosive Supplements, they agreed that their previous version, not their current version, but their previous version of uh, Fire Blast Ultra contained um, Octodrine um, and was listed on the ingredient list as amino isoheptane. So Drug Free Sport New Zealand concluded that the violation was not intentional and that the starting point was two years. And since the, the um, Octodrine was listed on the ingredient list, uh, Mr. Winters had not shown that he had no significant fault or negligence, and so there was no reduction from the two-year sanction. So he's sanctioned for two years. The next story is Brenda Martinez. She is an American middle distance runner, ranked 29th in the world in the 1500. Her personal best included a 426 mile and a 157 800, and she won the bronze medal in the 800 in the 2013 World Championships. In an out-of-competition test in September 2020, Martinez tested positive for HCTZ. And HC, HCTZ is a diuretic medication. It's the 12th most uh, popular prescribed medicine in the United States. So it's a fairly common medication. Or, so HCTZ is prohibited under the World Anti-Doping Code because it can be used as a masking agent. A lot of diuretics can be used as masking agents because they flush out your system, make it harder to detect um, prohibited substances. So that's one of the reasons why this medication is prohibited. So USADA collected the out-of-competition sample and were responsible for results management. And the United States Anti-Doping Association did an investigation into this case and they tested the medication that um, Martinez was prescribed and found that the medication was contaminated with HCTZ. It's not on the ingredient list, but under laboratory testing, it was included in, the, in that. Therefore, since Martinez had shown that how the prohibited substance got into her system and was the result of the positive test, she, she met her burden to, pro, to prove that she had no fault or negligence. And so USADA concluded that there should be no sanction. And because this was an out of competition test, there's no results to disqualify. So good news for Brenda Martinez. The third story to talk about is Rafaela Silva. Rafaela Silva is a judo athlete from Brazil. She completes in the, competes in the 57 kilo category. She was the first Brazilian to become a world champion in judo when she won the 2013 world championships. She 
She also won gold in the 2016 Rio Olympics. This story starts in the 2019 Pan Am Games in August 2019 in Lima, Peru. She won the um, she won the gold medal there and submitted a urine sample there, and that tested positive for phenytoin. Later that month, she competed in the 2019 World Judo Championships where she won the bronze medal. And then in October 2019, she competed in the Brasilia Grand Slam. The test that she submitted at the World Championships tested negative. So, um, phenytoin is a beta-2 agonist. It was prescribed was formerly prescribed as a Alzheimer medication, but it has some serious side effects and it led to some deaths of asthma sufferers. Um, so it's no longer used as an asthma medication. So uh, the International Judo Federation issued a decision banning uh, Rafaela Silva for two years and disqualifying her, her results from the 2019 Pan Am Games the 2019 World Championships, and the Brasilia Cup, uh, Brasilia Grand Slam. So, uh, Rafaela Silva appealed that decision to the Court for Arbitration of Sport, and she argued that the po her positive test was the result of um, exposure from either her roommate or from her supporters, and that led to the positive test. The Court for Arbitration of Sport did not agree with her. They found that she had not met her burden of proof to show um, the root of ingestion, meaning she hadn't shown how the prohibited substance got into her system. They didn't, um, there wasn't enough proof to show that the positive test was the result of exposure from either the roommate or supporters. Therefore, the Court for Arbitration of Sport upheld the decision of the International Judo Federation with the two-year sanction, the disqualifying results from um, Pan Am Games, disqualifying results from the World Championships, and disqualifying results from the Brasilia Grand Slam. That means that um, uh, Rafaela Silva, the reigning gold medalist in her category at the Rio Olympics, won't be able to go to the the uh, 2021 um, Olympics in Tokyo to defend her gold medal. And that's it for anti-doping updates for today. If you enjoyed this, please tap that like button gently, subscribe to get notifications. There'll be a new story coming up next week.